All right, here we are on the new map, Overlord. Introduced in patch 9.7. Had a couple of get a couple of games on this map already. Um, first few games, I had no idea what was going on. But uh, I think this is the third or fourth game I'm on it, and. In the previous games, I wasn't in a TD, and I noticed that on this side of the map, uh, TDs were using this particular spot to snipe. On the other side of the map, the equivalently good spot is on A9. It's got, there's got the platform there, which is incredible for sniping. But anyway, on this side of the map. So the way the way the map works is that it's basically got about uh, three, four levels right, of elevation. Um, the beach is right at the bottom. I would recommend the beach for, uh, for you know, for tank destroyers or heavy tanks. It's, you know, similar to the to uh, to all the beach beaches that you find in all the maps for World of Tanks. Um, as you can see, not really popular. No one really went there. And then where line three, line four is the second level. Um, it's got a little bit of cover there, which is interesting. Line four, line five, and line six is the third level. Um, that one is quite uh, uh, has got a lot of undulating terrain. So if you don't have gun depression, that's not the place to be. And I kind of messed up that shot. Otherwise, this E twenty five would still be alive. But okay. And in any case, I take out the E two. And if you have absolutely no gun depression, <coughs> and in your heavy tank, and you want to push through, then line nine, line zero is for you. Um, it's a choke point right there. So just beyond that choke point on both sides is pretty good if you want to aim with your artillery. Notice that a lot of tanks end up being choked up in that spot, so artillery goes to town in that in that area. This map was a little bit unusual compared to the first two times I played it. This particular game, um, in this game lines four, five, and six seem to be very hotly contested. And as you can see at this point, the team's losing. And looking at the mini map, our guard, our, the tanks that we had in the middle are getting swarmed over. So I keep, I'm trying to look for shots and. I find the K85, but he gets taken out before I can take a shot. As you can see, the spot I'm in is pretty good. It has excellent coverage across um, even up to line nine. Let's see, 155 here gets spotted. He's tunnel vision. He doesn't know there, and he takes a hit. Second kill in the game. I decide that I really need to help out. The guys in the middle. Quite a lucky shot to track. KV3. Looks like he used his repair kit earlier. So he gets taken out of the game. We've even the game up somewhat, but we're still really vulnerable in, in, in the middle. Uh, well. I kind of even the odds of that shot. The one one two gets removed from the game. At this point, I think the balance of the battle shifts back into our favor. And as you can see, most teams are going through the middle. It's the shortest route to get through to the other side. I remember that where the IS-3 and IS-6 are at right now, it's on a slightly raised platform. So I decide to swing around line 5 and see whether I can take them from the back. Coming down line 5 also gives me a clear shot into the base where I actually spot the KVD-5 and put a lot of pain into him. He doesn't know I'm here. As you can see from the minimap, I'm outside his maximum view range. He takes a hit, he doesn't even know who hit him. Not spotted, obviously. 
The backup is still there. And I and his tracks eat the shot, which is just so unfortunate. He probably repairs and pulls back. That shot hits nothing. So he's not there anymore. One one two behind on houses, don't really have a shot. So I stick to my original plan and get the IS3. Ah, that's 24 gets removed. <coughs> a bit fortunate there, that shot. He probably didn't know I was flanking. Which is, which is the whole point of flanking, right? You don't tell people in advance they're gonna come. The IS3 takes a big hit from the ball sink and evaporates. One or two is still behind the house. Still have no way of getting to him. Still not completely familiar with the map yet. Ooh. Before I can get a shot off, he gets taken out. That was on really low health anyway. Now it's a mopping up exercise. One or two flashes right in front of me. Don't take the shot. Ah, uh, I'm sure I was in there. If she hits me and bounces somehow. <coughs> Let's see where that shell hit. Probably hit my superstructure. It was using heat. It's quite amazing that it bounced. Looking for the last guy, I make a plea to the team to let me have him. Of course they ignore me. But I try my best to get there anyway. I'm experimenting with uh, eating chocolates on this tank. I notice that the pickup is just that bit a bit faster. So it gives me a bit more opportunity to climb up steep hills like that quicker and I'm in the perfect position to take this kill auto aim and he's down and that secures my top gun so that's overlord thank you very much for watching